Hey guys, um, I want to talk to you about the floods in Brazil a little more. You know, it has hit not only cities and villages, also many, many, many farms. And it's been devastating now that the water is receding. So many animals have died and have been affected. And for me, I love animals. I have animals. I have a farm. This is the worst nightmare that can happen to anyone. So I want to show you some footage about what has happened. So stay tuned. One video that was really touching my heart, it was really heartfelt, is that video that I want to show you here of that little doggy that was completely stuck in the mud that was coming with the floods and the water flowing. And he was stuck there and then they were trying to get him out and rescuing him. And it touches my heart, you know, guys, I have four dogs and I have the farm and I have the horses. So I wanted to show you that because I just think... This is just, yeah, I'm just glad that they're also thinking about the animals. But the tragedy is if you drive through the area right now and where the water has receded a little bit, it was just shortly receding like Thursday evening, Friday morning sort of thing. So you could see the devastation. This is an area that has heavy, heavy farming. This province, Rio Grande do Sol, is a farming province. They are raising crops like soybeans, the biggest rice producer, but a lot of animals. And you could see the dead animals along the streets, like the cows, the pigs and everything. It's just heartbreaking. And I showed you the video here of that horse that had rescued itself on a roof and they were really able to like i couldn't believe it taking like these kind of boats right and putting the horse into like a like an air blown up how do you say in english boat and probably i don't know if they have sedated the horse or not or the horse really felt that this is its only chance to get away from that but amazing people that they did that because if the horse starts trampling around and damaging that boat then everybody's sinking and is in sort of trouble right so all these pictures like so many people now it has affected about tw 2 million people the province has more than 10 million people that live there and it, it has hit cities villages farms it's just devastating i don't want to make this video too long i just want to make you give you a short overview of that devastation and so we really should hope for the people of Brazil. Um, and I have one viewer that's from Brazil. We talked about the situation briefly yesterday in the comments, Flavia. So I'm, I'm really, my heart goes out to your country and I'm sending you much love through this video. And I hope that your country will get the most help possible to recover from this. The government has promised some help and also some help for the farmers some um, like cheap credits and stuff like this but you know how can they even serve these credits if they're losing all their crop they were hoping for a record year with their crops with the corn and with the rice but they don't know if they will even have a crop this year they say everything is underwater 12 to 16 feet um so one between two one and two meters they can't access their fields their farms they don't know what the damage will be and it also depends on how much longer will this rain last and how long will the water be standing on the fields if that's too long it'll all be gone and it'll all be like devastated the floods in that brazilian province continue and uh the people who have lost their life, the numbers went up from 113 to 126 and the rain has returned on Friday and it's supposed to be like that till Monday. So that is devastating because they don't have a, a second to breathe and it continues. So these storms and rainfall events are affecting the state that is home to 10.9 million people and have displaced already more than 340,000 people and there's 141 people still accounted for according to the civil defense and these heavy rains have caused several rivers to flow over and lakes in the region have hit their highest levels ever floods have blocked streets and disrupted logistics have triggered a shortage of essential goods in certain areas 
almost 2 million people have been affected so far. For example, in Canoas, that's one of the most affected cities that's near the state capital, Porto Alegre, over 6,000 people had to stay in a college gymnasium that they had turned into a shelter. That's 6,000 people, guys, that's a lot. 385,000 people had no water services and some 20 cities were out of telecommunication services as well. The farmers are hit very, very hard. This is a state that has a lot of farming and these floodwaters have swallowed up soybean fields, farming equipment, cutting off roads, have killed livestock, have cut off farms, warehouses in this extreme weather event that has hit this agricultural giant province. So Rio Grande do Sol is one of the biggest soy producing regions in Brazil, as well as its main rice growing area. And both crops are expected, of course, to suffer from this historic flood. Maybe they're completely wiped out. Nobody can tell yet because it's still ongoing. The farmers are saying we have no way of accessing our fields, which are under four or five meters. That's 13 to 16 feet of water. Check out this area. That's the capital area. That's how they have to go by boats. And look at this aerial picture, how vastly the water has spread out there. And the water is standing in the villages, in the areas. It just looks like a, a big giant lake. And guys, if you liked this video, please leave it a like to support my channel. That would absolutely be awesome. And if you're new here, please subscribe. This guy is called Quintessence of Gold because he has golden hair. We need to brush it a little bit, but he's super special. He has blue eyes as well. Beautiful blue eyes, which is not super normal for a warm blood stallion. So he's a stallion too. And uh, yeah, I'm breeding with him and he's making beautiful babies these guys and if I'm getting the next baby from him um, I'll show you some pictures so thanks for watching guys I see you very very soon in the next one